Hi there, this is Scott Duffy, and it's the end of December 2017, and I'm recording this for the 70-533 Implementing Azure Infrastructure Solutions course. These are the latest uh, tips, what we're hearing within the Azure Facebook group about this exam. Hopefully, this will benefit you if you're planning to take this in 2018. So I went through the last few months of students who are taking the test, and I pulled out some select quotes. So these are actual quotes by uh, students or people within the Azure Facebook group who have taken the test and are giving some sort of feedback to other students on terms of what to expect. A significant number of PowerShell scripting along with ARM template, JSON configuration content understanding, OMS related questions, ARM questions, questions on OMS and CLI commands, Kubernetes, mix of classic and ARM resource questions. Surprising that they're asking about classic still, they're not supposed to. But anyways, these are what students are saying that they're seeing on the 533 exam. So first let's talk about the uh, Azure NDA. So when you take sign up to take an exam, you agree to a non-disclosure agreement in the first screen. And the non-disclosure agreement pretty much says you are not allowed to talk about the actual questions that you got on your exam or the actual answers. It says disseminating actual exam content or answers. So I uh, strongly believe in this. I, I don't like brain dumps. I don't suggest them. I don't think they're very effective. They're not, they're not serving you well anyways. But um, this video and all of the stuff that we do here should not be talking about actual exam questions and answers. Uh, we're just talking about topics at this point. So if I was to tell you there's a number of PowerShell questions or OMS, ARM template, JSON questions, I mean, these are, these are good, important information, and this will help you when you're studying. So my mother used to say forewarned is forearmed, and I still believe it's true. So before attempting the exam, I would, I would say you should up the amount of time that you spend looking at the Power Azure SDK. Uh, as well as constructing ARM JSON templates. So, you know, down, go into the, um, the portal, create some resources, download the templates because you can download the templates and see how they're constructed, modify them, use PowerShell, deploy some uh, new resources based on those modified templates. Everything an IT pro would do in a job scenario, you should get uh, some practice in. I also love the concept of creating projects for yourself. So imagine you are given this assignment by a business person or somebody in your, your company. So challenge yourself, write a script to perform a function, something, automate something, use as many of the Azure services as possible. So create a script that will uh, create a um, virtual network and sign some network security groups to that and create some IP addresses, public IPs and assign them to virtual machines. and do all that stuff, scale stuff, make copies of stuff. You know, that should be something that you're spending several days doing. Now within the My Azure 7533 course, there is a PowerShell guide. So I did create a multi-page document that covers all of the major components within Azure and how you use PowerShell to list them and get them and update them and delete them. So download that within the course. I also have it, if you're not in the course, I also have it on my website as a free sign up uh, and I'll send it to you. There's also sample scripts in there so you can take my scripts, modify them for your purpose and practice with it. So don't just read my stuff. Don't just watch the videos practice. And I do believe I have to um, update some more arm template stuff. I probably don't get into detail in terms of what those individual commands and properties within the temp um, JSON commands. So that's probably an area that I need to pull up on. This, these quotes at the beginning of this list of this video came from the uh, unofficial Microsoft Azure user group, which has a uh, thousand number to 4,000 people, 4,000 uh, Azure fans in this group discussing all things relating to Azure, particularly the exams, but also anything that you encounter within your job. It's good to connect with lots of other people who are in the same job as you or in the same interest as you. I put a shortener, my uh, sjd.ca domain on screen so it'll take you there. Now you do need a Facebook account. Not everyone has a Facebook account. Not everybody wants to have a Facebook account. Well, that's the reality is the group exists on Facebook. So 
if you are interested, I definitely would recommend that you sign up for that. Anyways, um, that's the latest on 7533. As things change, I'll put up new videos like this. So hopefully this helps. Thanks.